Seriously? Wait, is he? He's already dead? Hey, buddy. going on okay everybody's dying and screaming so um where'd the dude's body go <laughs> don't tell me he got like sucked into the ground he should have his body should have been over here because like I shot him and he fell off unless he like flew back day two does he just respawn, or...? Yeah, he just respawned. Did all his friends respawn too, or...? So I'm just gonna... Ready for this. Does he have a rocket launcher? Don't disappear again. Please don't glitch through everything. Oh, is that what you fell on last time? Was it just...? Wow. Okay. You'd send me to make peace. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. Maybe I shouldn't have said What's that. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. The camp has a power regulator I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero? Twelve seconds later. Redirect power to botanical laboratory. Sorry. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be alright now they got power, but... What about the town? All those people? We'll talk later. <laughs> That low, pleasant hum of electricity. It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. They really have it, it in for Reed. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. Yeah, I think so it's a good thing that we did that because cemetery. everyone is Gathering sick there anyway and we could just convince anyway. everyone to come here. That's Easy. As much of a story as you need to hear. Oh no. Have we done a bad? Yes. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. It's not personal, I need your regulator. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Come. Call off your guards. I don't need the bleeding all over my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. I'm I'm sorry for this. I really am, but I need it. I forgot about you. All the lights in town went out. Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient, then. These people are sick and overworked. Things had to change. 
Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. You took it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Either way, I'm fascinated. It seems like we could get like a hundred, not a hundred, but oh my god, there's so many planets. I was not expecting there to be a million planets here. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Hey, Phineas. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me uh, help us. Am I gonna land on top the of them again? To revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Phineas, Phineas, I have a question. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. Mine the mess, sir. I haven't had a visitor since, uh, In fact, I've never had a visitor. Oh. Hey, buddy. I see you're doing the social distancing thing. For what it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. There's some reason you're hiding behind a bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. <laughs> I'd best get back to work. Uh, I can feel my last dose of caffeine fading. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Let's go.